Hey word game lovers, we're back with a brand new word game. It's called Chain of Thought. It's the free association word chain game. Let's show you how it works. This is our opening screen here. Just to get started, push play. And now you've got three play modes. A solo play, great for that line in the supermarket. Pass and play, where you pass the device between you and a friend or family member, and you both get to keep track of uh, your progress and see how you're doing against each other. And then there's an online play mode where you can play with someone uh, on the other side of the country, or the other side of the world even. Okay, so we're gonna do the solo play. And uh, well, this is uh, towards the end of the round here because I didn't want to play an entire round for you. But uh, you have a brain word. And now you have a pool of words. And you have to find the word that makes a common two-word phrase or compound words. So we have jet. And we look around, see what goes with jet. And it's pack, jet pack. Push the button, and it flies up to the thought balloon. Now pack becomes the next word that you have to link. So pack, and let's say you're not quite sure what it might be. Well, push the question mark, and that'll give you a hint. Someone that hoards, pack, someone that hoards, pack, a pack rat. So push rat. Rat, rat what? Ah, let's do another clue. I recommend using the clues often. Chemical that kills rodents. Rat poison. Poison ivy. Something that I'm very allergic to. Ivy League. And now you get a new brain word and you start a new chain. Big, big what? Well, let's see. Sasquatch. Oh yeah, right. Big foot. Foot ball. Ball game. Game over. Overachiever. Okay, so this particular puzzle is done. I did outstanding, apparently. And I got three extra hints. Five stars. And these buttons fly in. Now, the check button will take you to the next puzzle. This trophy button. I'll push that. And that'll take us to our achievements. And you can see I have already earned some achievements here. And this podium will take you to the leaderboard and it will show you how you're faring against everyone else. Okay, so let's push the check button and do one more puzzle here. Only, push the hint, merely mortal, only human, human body, Body language, language barrier, barrier, let's say you make a mistake and you say barrier, sand. Well, you get a little storm from your thought cloud. And the hint button flashes just to remind you to use some hints. Coral ridge parallel to shore. Well, that's a barrier reef. Quick, quick sand, dune, buggy, whip lash. Formidable. Up oh, four stars because I made a mistake. Now this round is complete and we get a summary screen. And it shows you how many hints were used on each puzzle. 
how many mistakes you made on each puzzle, the time you took, and the score. This is your total score. And if you want to review any particular puzzle, he's like, oh, what was the puzzle I made a mistake on? Well, you push this big number, and it will show you the puzzle completed, and it will tell you the time you took, the number of hints you used, and the number of mistakes you made. And you can see. Now when you're done reviewing it, you just push the back button and you're back to the summary screen. And if you want to play another round, just push the check button. Round two. And you're off. Now this button here is the home button. It'll take you to the main screen. And from there, you can do other things like options. Here, this, this one here is a reset all button. This one is, it's a little hard to see because it's glaring here. This one here turns on and off the sound. This one will restore your purchases. This will change the difficulty level. And that basically means it will change the number of hints that are available to you and how often and how many hints you get as you play. This button will be a future feature and this button will show you some of our other games. The help button will take you to a help screen which will explain the whole game to you and what the buttons do but you won't need that because you're watching this video. The stats will show you all kinds of information about how you're doing, how many correct guesses in a row, your fastest and slowest times, and so on. You can also easily get to your achievements here and the leaderboard. Credits, that's obvious enough. And the Levels button will take you to different puzzle packs. This is the free puzzle pack, and it comes currently with 50 free puzzles. And then there's some puzzles packs that you can purchase, um, and we'll be doing a lot more. So you simply tap on the puzzle pack that you want to play, and it takes you to that. Now, I should explain in the Pass and Play, which is the two-player mode. It'll tell you whose turn it is and when you're ready to go push this button it'll set it up for you. It keeps track of the it's player one's turn and you have player one's score information. You have player two's turn and it'll have player two's score information and you pass the device back and forth and after you finish the round you'll be shown a summary screen comparing how you each did. Also on the online play mode, you'll get this pop-up and you'll be able to invite a friend and they'll get sent a message and you can both play back and forth. It's kind of a turn-based game when you do it online. So that is basically everything you know to get started. So we hope you're going to enjoy Chain of Thought. Let us know if you have any trouble. Or if you have any suggestions, we'd love to hear them. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.